Hey guys, welcome back. So glad you're here. So what we're going to do today is a 30 minute, no equipment leg burner. So we're just gonna work those legs with our body weight. So you need no equipment outside your sweat towel, your drink, and your great attitude. Let's get this thing going. Okay, so hopefully you grabbed your sweat towel and your drink. And if so, let's get warmed up. Let's start with some butt kicks. Oh yeah. Just gonna be able to kick that back, open up that chest a little bit, just kind of get the whole body moving. I know we're just using our legs, but we want that whole body ready to work and stabilize. A couple more, right here, nice. And now let's do um, down and around, just a nice good twist, drive that knee up and twist around. So we're getting that trunk twist a little bit, but we're also getting a lot of that knee drive in there. Two more, last one, and then right over here. Driving that knee and twisting. Two more. Last one. And then let's go right here into lunge and down. Just getting that body moving. Last one. And then stay in that low position and then straighten that knee. Gliding back and forth. So we're gonna work for 40 seconds today. We're gonna do three rounds of an activity before moving on. And then let's go to the other side, right here, down and up. It's gonna be no, just using that body weight. So I will show you different ways to accommodate that body weight in case you can't handle it. Most of the stuff you'll be able to handle because it's your legs or big muscles. Two more, last one. And we're gonna go right here, end to inner thigh. Nice, good. Going gliding, getting that little deeper each time. Oh yeah, and then come right up here. And let's twist each side. So you're still getting a little bit of that trunk in there. We're also gliding those hips, keeping those knees straight, so those hamstrings are gliding a little bit. Two more. Last one on each side. Oh yeah, and then right here. Hinge at the hip and then drive back. And those hips a little bit more. Two more. Last one. Oh yeah. And then let's do some big hip circles right here. And then the other direction. Big giant circles. Really get that hip range of motion in there. And then the other side. And then the other, oh, two more. And the other direction. <laughs> Try to remember what I was doing there. <laughs> Last one. Okay, and then let's just do a couple of squats. Come down and up. Nice and gentle. Okay, we'll go faster a little bit later. <laughs> just nice, getting down a little bit lower each time. Just kind of starting that glide. Two more. Last one, perfect. Okay, so we're going to start with that squat, just like what we did. When we're squatting, we're gonna sit back, right? We're gonna drive those hips back, sit right over those heels and come back up, keeping that chest nice and upright. We don't fall forward, keep it upright as we come back. So we're gonna add a step in there. So we're gonna squat, step, come up, squat, step, come up. Now you may have to squat and step, that's okay, you do your best that you can do with this. So you're ready, here we go. Three, two, one, sit down, squat and step. Okay, staying low. Okay, I'm staying in that low position that whole time that I'm stepping, really working those quads. Okay, it's okay if you have to just modify that a little bit, go as low as you can go, but still stay over those heels, don't just, Crunch down on that back. Stay nice and upright. 10 more seconds. You got this. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, shake those out. We got two more rounds of that. Yeah, just our body weight is still really hard. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Sit down and stop and drive up. If you want to make it harder, stay low the whole time. Nice 
nice and controlled. Sitting down and stepping. Really feeling that lateral thigh, moving and stabilizing as you drive across. And then of course, working that front legs of the quads to do those sitting position, but we're driving through our glutes and activating them as we come up, driving through those heels. There we go. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. Okay, one more of those. Woo, I'm getting my heart rate up, are you? Here we go, three, two, one, sit down, drive, and up. Down and over. Nice and controlled. You got this. Staying low, coming back up. We are burning those legs out today. I tell you, just with our body weight, you can do reps a little bit faster with your body weight than you can with heavier weights. So we go a little bit faster, but still burn out in a little bit different way. Six more seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, so for the next activity, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a lateral lunge, but we're gonna have our arms out in front. So we're gonna step out and come right back in. So when we do that lateral lunge, when we step over, when we drive that hip back, still sit over that heel, but now we have our arms out there, giving that lever arm, working that trunk, those legs a little bit more. Whew. Okay, here we go, are you ready? Three, two, one, step over and drop. Go down, drop those arms and step back up. Again, using those longer lever arms of those arms, add a little bit more weight and resistance to that lunge. Oh yeah. Keep it up, 15 more seconds. Oh yeah. I'm hanging in there, are you? <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one, rest. Okay, now we gotta go to the other side. Even this leg up, right? Catch that breath. Here we go. Three, two, one, step over and drop. Okay, keeping that trunk upright, sitting down low over that heel and then driving through that heel to push off and get us back up. Oh yeah. Nice and controlled, you got this. 15 more seconds. Hang in there. You're staying strong, I know it. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. Okay, so we're just gonna stay in that lateral position. We're gonna glide to each side, just like that. Same idea, here we go, three, two, one, gliding, you're still just sitting over that edge of that heel, drive that hip back and sit down and drive through that heel to get you back up. Oh yeah. Keeping those arms out there, making that more challenging. We're gonna do a squat next, a wide squat up on our toes to make it challenging. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. Okay, so we're gonna go wide up on our squat. So we're gonna have our feet angled just slightly in that 45 degree angle. We're gonna go up on our toes and we're gonna sit down and back up. Now, when I do that, I still drive my heels back, my hip back, and my butt goes over my heels even though I come up on my toes. I know a lot of times we're wiggling our toes, but we're gonna come down and we're gonna be in that same position. We're just gonna be up on our toes. So you may have to come down and then go up on your toes or try your toes the whole time. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, come down. Now, I stick my arms out in front. It's just a counterbalance for me. It's not to make it harder, it's actually to make it easier for me <laughs> to balance, because it's hard to balance in this nice wide position and then up on that small base of support with those toes. So we're working those calf muscles up on those toes. And then we're also working our 
upper thighs more by having that smaller base of support that's having to work. And of course, we're working our trunk to stabilize us during that time. Oh, you know how I like to multitask. Four, three, two, one, rest. Okay, we got two more of those. We can do this. I'm encouraging myself with you. Here we go, three, two, one. We're going down and back up. Now, again, you need to just up here and then come down in a regular squat. That's okay if that's where you are for balance. Just push yourself. I want to encourage pushing your ability, not to the point where you have injury or you're unstable or compensating the wrong ways, but to push yourself to get better. So sometimes we have to challenge our balance system to get it better. So we have to move just a little bit harder. Have something near you that you can grab onto if you lose that balance as you go down. I really want you practicing it. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. Okay, one more of those. Oh yeah. Woo! Getting those words for sure. Here we go. Three, two, one. Coming down and up. Just sitting down on those toes. We're gonna do a lunge next. We're gonna go do a back lunge. Oh yeah. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling like my legs are getting worked and I'm just using my body. That seems heavy enough to today. <laughs> well, let's go, come on, keep on going. 15 more seconds. Oh yeah, drive up. I know you're driving to those toes, but it's still going right over that heels. That's where we're at. Four, three, two, one, rest. Okay, so what we're doing is we're gonna just do a Nice, good back lunge and a knee drive. Back lunge and a knee drive. Again, we're gonna push that balance system. It's okay if you just do back lunge, you come up and you knee drive. If that's where you are for balance, that's okay. Keep pushing yourself for those single leg activities. Now, we're gonna get our heart rate up just a little bit because we're gonna be working to the uh, as fast as we can when we're doing these body activities. We work a little faster. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, step back and drive. Down and up. You're still getting that full range. I'm going all the way down, getting that leg right over that front heel, driving that knee up. Keep breathing. We'll do the other leg next. <laughs> Don't worry, we even steven it out, right? <laughs> 15 more seconds. Hang in there. You're doing awesome. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. Okay, let's do the other side. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, step back and drive. On our last round, we'll alternate sides. Sitting back, making sure that weight is right over the heel, not over your toes. But over that heel and you're coming straight down, keeping that trunk upright. Don't fall forward. In all these activities, we work our core and our trunk. They have to be our stabilizer and our foundation to do these exercises right. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. Okay. Alternating on our last one. Here we go, you ready? Three, two, one, down and up, down and up. Keep it moving. Oh yeah. You're halfway there, come on. I'll keep working. 10 more seconds. Drive that knee up. Really work that hip flexor that way. Four, three, two, one, rest. Okay, so the next activity, we're going to bend over and we're gonna have our hands touching the floor. Okay, I know some of you are gonna have to have your knees a little bit more bent. 
And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a kickback and then we're gonna drive that knee right into the middle of our calf on the other leg. And it's gonna bend and squat. So it's almost gonna be like a single leg squat on that leg. And the other leg, we're gonna work that glute as we kick up. Here we go, you ready? Three, two, one. So you're gonna kick up and then drive that knee into your, into your calf and then back up and you're gonna bend that knee and it's gonna be like a single leg squat on the leg that's standing and the leg that's kicking. You're gonna really think about squeeze that glute, drive it in. Squeeze that glute, drive it in. And like I said, it's like a single leg squat on the leg that's standing. I'm holding onto the floor for balance and a little more control. You can have a block to give you a little bit more stability if you can't get down as low. Keep it up, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. Okay, same thing. Now we gotta go to the other side. Oh. Okay, so again, you can hold onto the couch if you need to be a little higher. Here we go, three, two, one. Kick back and then drive that knee. Again, we're working the glute on the leg that's kicking up. You wanna squeeze that glute as you lift and then drive that knee right into that calf. And that, you squat down, and that single leg squat. Oh yeah, that's working the quad on that side and we're working the glute on the other. We're gonna do half and half on each side on the last round. Here we go, five, four, three, two, one, rest. Okay, I will tell you when to switch sides. Woo, here we go, you ready? Three, two, one, lift and kick. Woo, really think about squeeze that glute and then drive that knee in. Lift and drive. Keep it up. Here we go, three, two, one, switch sides. Ooh, kick that up and drive that knee. As you bend that knee more, as you drive that in there, it's gonna work that squat. Oh, baby. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. That's that, baby. Woo! Okay, so the next line activity, we're gonna do a forward lunge. Okay, arms overhead, two pulses, and come back. So we're just gonna do a forward lunge two pulses and keeping those arms up top, making it a little more challenging, a little more weight. Catch our breath. Oh yeah. <laughs> You're doing great, working. Here we go, you ready? Three, two, one. You're coming down, two pulses and back up. Still sitting right over that front um, heel, driving that two pulses down and then pushing through that heel to come back up. Down, two pulses, and drive up. Oh yeah. Nice work, down two pulses, and drive up. 10 more seconds, and then we'll do the other side. Keeping those arms up there, working that. Three, two, one. Rest. Woo. Okay, we got the other side now. Here we go. Three, two, one. Step, two pulses, and back. Right over that front heel, and you're driving back. Keeping those arms up overhead. See if you can do it the whole time instead of coming down and then going up. You can do it the whole time, making it a little harder on that trunk to stabilize and those muscles to work to get in those good positions. Oh yeah. Ten more seconds, and then we'll alternate sides on that last round. Push through that heel as you come up. Think about pushing off that heel. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, we're gonna alternate each side. Woo. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, step forward, two pulses, and back. Step forward, two pulses on the other side, and back. Alternating sides. 
sticking with really driving that heel back as you push off. Oh, baby. <laughs> Nice and controlled. Ooh, 15 more seconds. You're doing great. I love it. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. Okay, the next activity, we're gonna be at the end of the mat. What we're gonna do is we're gonna walk it out to plank and walk it back into a low squat, hold it, and then walk it out Come back and hold that squat, okay? You're holding that low squat, as low as you can go. I know some of you can go lower than others. That's okay. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, coming down, coming back into that low squat, hold it, and then come on forward, and come on back and hold it. Oh yeah, and controlling it down and controlling it back into the squat and you're controlling it onto your toes and then you're lifting. Okay, you're working the legs to pull you back into the position and to pull you forward. That's the control. Right there, going from your toes, pushing back to your heels, whoop! <laughs> and then pushing onto your toes and going down. See how challenging it is. <laughs> and back and forward. Three, two, one. Rest, so you're moving from that forward position to the back position to the forward position in that low squat to burn out those quads. Here we go, three, two, one. Coming down, coming up, and pushing back, and then roll it. So you're really working on rolling from toe to heel to heel to toe in the low squat as like a rocker, and that's really working those thighs. Now I have my feet on either side of the mat, kind of a wider squat to help me stabilize the wider the space of support, the more stability we have. 15 more seconds. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, shake that out. That works it if you really control that rocking that position. Last one, three, two, one, rock onto those toes and come out. Come on back and rock back, whoo. There you go, come on, stay strong, stay steady. This isn't easy. Really focus to rock and then to rock. Rocking from your toes to the back of your heels and then rocking from your heels to your toe. You're shifting that weight in that squat position. Work in those quads. <laughs> 10 more seconds. Oh yeah. Here we go. Three, two, one, rest. Oh, not an easy thing. Okay, so we're gonna go to this tall side position and we're gonna do a leg lift right here, lifting up into neutral and back down. Right here and down. That's all we're doing. I know it says all, but that still means it's e not easy. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna keep my foot flexed on this one. We're gonna lift up right here and hold. Now I don't need you to go higher than that neutral position. Neutral position right there. You ready? Three, two, one. Right up here and back down. <sighs> Lifting and back down. Really getting that outer thigh. I wanna make sure that it's not forward, okay? It's almost a little bit neutral or a little bit behind to activate a little bit more of that glute. You just shy of the neutral. So just a little bit behind and you're lifting until you feel your glute and your outer thigh kicking in to lift that. I'm not coming all the way down. I'm hovering and then I'm lifting again, making tension on that muscle the whole time. It's a nice good burn. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, shake that out. We gotta go the other side. Whew. Are you ready? Here we go. Three, two, one. Lift and back down. Like I said, you're going up to neutral and back down. And you want that leg just shy. Like if you had a straight line, it's just behind it, just barely. And you're gonna feel that, activate that glute just a little bit more. 
getting that nice resistance there. 15 more seconds. You're doing great. Hang in there. And then we're gonna alternate. I mean, we're gonna have um, half and half on each side. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. Okay, I will give you a cue to switch sides. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, lift and back down. And you can just roll the other side. I'm gonna flip side so I can say seeing you, but you can just roll the other side, it'll be a little easier. Oh yeah, stay nice and controlled. Three, two, one, switch sides, and we're up. Ooh yeah, burn this leg out. Now we only have one more activity after this. We are going to do the inner thigh. <laughs> to finish this out. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. Okay, so we're gonna be up in this, you can be in a tall position like this, or you can be in a low position and you're gonna lift that leg right up towards the ceiling, okay? It gets harder if you lift your leg all the way up into that tall plank, or you can lift, stay down, and you're gonna just lift that right against gravity, keeping our foot flexed, our knee straight, lifting our like inner heel right towards the ceiling. Here we go, three, two, one, you're lifting, and I want you to try not to come down all the way. I want you to hover and then bring it right back up, keeping tension on that muscle the whole 40 seconds. Oh, baby. Make it burn. And you're squeezing that inner thigh as you come up. Nice and controlled. Come at 20 more seconds. We're halfway there. Woohoo. Yeah. Working that. <laughs> but this is it. This is all we got. We're doing great. Squeeze it and come back down. Eight more seconds. Stay strong, go all the way to the bell. Four, three, two, one. Shake that out. We gotta do the other side. Oh yeah. Are you ready? Here we go. Three, two, one, and we're lifted. Stay focused that this is our last activity. It'll help you burn it out. <laughs> Keep that foot flexed and you're lifting that inner um, foot right towards that ceiling, lifting it straight up. Not coming down if you can, letting that hover and bringing it back up. Again, keeping that tension that whole time. 15 more seconds, and then we will do 20 seconds on each side on our last round. <laughs> oh, we have five, four, three, two, one, rest those baby, whoo. Okay, 20 seconds on each side. We can totally do this. I'm gonna have this time, your knee is going to be bent. Same idea, we're lifting right here. Ready, three, two, one. Same idea, you're lifting that inner thigh and I'm keeping that foot flexed, but my knee is bent, so I'm working a little bit different muscles when we, as soon as we take that knee bend, we take a couple muscles out, working a little bit focus. Here we go, three, two, one other side finish here come on stay strong oh yeah lifting up lifting still that inner foot towards that ceiling but your knee is just bent 10 more seconds come on finish strong oh yeah here we go five four three two one rest oh yeah okay come on down grab those knees oh yeah Drop that left leg down, straighten that knee out, and just pump that leg back and forth. Whew. Getting that hamstring in there. And then you're gonna cross that foot over the other leg and you're gonna pull that in. Now, if you don't have that range of motion, grab a towel and pull that and you're just gonna get that right, by having that right leg crossed over, you're getting that right hip, opening it up. Oh, that feels good. And getting that glute a little bit. And then bring both knees back in. This time, drop your right leg down. You know, a little bit of that hip flexor. And then we're straightening that knee out and we're pumping that foot back and forth. So we're getting a hamstring, but we're also getting a little bit of a glide and that sciatic nerve. And we're working that calf a little bit. 
And then you're gonna cross that over. And you're gonna grab that, pull it towards you. Opening up that hip. Woo, feels so good. If any of these stretches feel good, come back and do them later. That'll be helpful. And come down and we're gonna roll to the side. We're gonna grab that foot, pull it back, and we're gonna get that nice good quad stretched out the front of that thigh. We worked that with all those squats and those lunges. And then roll to the other side and grab that foot and we'll finish with this quad. Oh, I know, I just ran out of time. Keep going, you got this. Here we go. Three, two, one, rest. Oh, thank you for joining me. I'm so glad you made that. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up that you rocked that and subscribe to the channel below and have a great day.